in this video i will talk about two important definitions related to our logic families first one is power dissipation and second one is speed power product so what is power dissipation when we are dealing with any logic gate let's say i am dealing with a ttl logic gate of 7 4 series you may know that when we have a ttl logic gate at first we have to supply 5 volt DC voltage to activate our logic gates. Let's say I am denoted that voltage as VCC. All the logic gates draw current from this DC supply voltage to perform its normal operation. Let's say I am denoting that current with IC. As we are dealing with DC voltage and DC current, therefore I can calculate power because let's say I have a P PDC will be P equal to V I so our DC power should be VCC into ICC see here power dissipation is the power consumed by the logic gate when fully driven by all the inputs when we apply all the logical inputs at the logic gate the power that is drawn by the logic gate will be known as power dissipation now let's say i have a nand gate here and a nand gate here the operation of this nand gate is such that if we have at least a zero at the input of the nand gate in the output i will get our high state or logic one so let's say i am supplying this nand gate with this vcc voltage and at this terminal I am applying logic 0 and this could be whether it could be logic 0 or logic 1 as we have at least one zero at the input side our output will output will be at logic 1 see here as the output is at logic 1 let's say the current that is drawn by this logic gate when the output is at high state is ICCH therefore I can calculate power dissipation using this formula as I am supplying this DC voltage and it is drawing this ICCH current during the output high state therefore our power will be VCC into ICCH but if both of these inputs are high that means see in, the, in case of this NAND gate I am supplying this NAND gate with VCC voltage but in the input side I am applying logical one at the both input terminals therefore our output will be low or zero in that case let's say the logic gate is drawing ICCL amount of current therefore our power dissipation will be the multiplication of this voltage VCC into ICCL I was discussing this ICCH and this ICCL for our fixed input if I design a logic circuit in which our input will frequently change with time let's say at one instant it will be 0 1 after that it will be 0 1 after that it will be 1 0 or 1 1 if the inputs keep changing frequently therefore we cannot apply either these or this formula to calculate our power dissipation because at one instant our output will be 1 other instant our output will be zero therefore the logic gate will draw both of these currents ICC and ICCL therefore I will calculate our average supply current see our average supply current will be equal to ICC and this ICC will be equal to average of ICCH and ICCL how do we take the average I just add this ICCH and this ICCL and divide this with two as I know the average current our supplied voltage is VCC therefore our average power dissipation will be VCC into ICC ok now let me talk about speed power product it has another name figure of merit what is the figure of merit figure of merit is a term used to define or describe the overall performance of a system or the efficiency of that system therefore the term speed power product is very important to understand the operation of a logic family see speed power product if let's say i have a ttl 
NAND gate it is desirable for any logic gate to obtain the output response at the same instant we are applying the logical input that means propagation delay of any logic gate should be minimum it is also desirable that the logic gate will draw minimum amount of power from our power supply and and the speed power product is the product of or the multiplication of the propagation delay the unit of this delay will be in second and power dissipation in watts the unit watts can be written as joules per second therefore our speed power product will have a unit of joule will be propagation delay into power dissipation its unit is seconds and power dissipation joule per seconds so this sec seconds and this seconds will get cancelled therefore our unit of this speed power product will be joules and you will see that I have written here a low value of the speed power product is desirable see we want a logic gate in which our propagation delay should be minimum and also our logic gate should use minimum power to perform its logical operation as both of these terms should be minimum therefore our speed power product should have a low value and it is desirable for any logic family as a low value of the speed power product is desirable therefore the smaller the value of this speed power product it will indicate the greater overall performance of that IC logic family okay that's it thank you